Okay, welcome to another edition of uh, Spring League by Sterling Underwater Hockey Club. This is week two of the games. Today's game is between Team C and the uh, one of the favorites, I would say, Team F. Team F is in black, uh, currently in possession of the cup. Uh, so, so why do you think they are the favorites, Dong Liang? Why do you say that? Yeah, I think uh, overall they are player. The spread of players in terms of experience and ability is quite even across Team F. And right. they have a very strong forward as we can see there by Zhe Tong. That was a quick goal by Zhe Tong. I think in general we have very strong, strong Nemo forwards on Team F. Zhe Tong, we have uh, Qian Wei, you have Li Shan. All of them individually quite strong and able to challenge the backs one-on-one -on -one, as we can see there. Yeah, I think... As they gain experience, you can tell that they are learning how to be more aggressive and uh, how to put pressure on the opponent backs, and it really shows. Uh. Like, look at this drive by Joshua. I think he did a good job there, staying down, pressuring Ina, forcing Ina to make the swim to the side. Yeah, but Ina did well also, and now Tutong is was the outlet, and he has just managed to feed it off towards Beth, who does a very good swim out. Um, a bit of a high risk move because you know you're passing the puck back into the middle when you're in the, the defensive half but they got away with it there and very good swim by both Bev and Ina doing a good 45s now we have it stuck in the opponent corner in team C team C's corner there's a good a good reset into the middle by Bev to Ina you see that Willit took it brought it to the side Willit looking for support didn't have any had to swim by himself there and finally he gets it off to Joshua who swims straight down the middle and now back up black are now back in possession it's getting a bit bubbly in the pool um, but I think basically the team F forwards are very active you can see Chen Wei and Zhe Tong continually putting pressure on the team C backs so on Team C, we have Willit and Fatin as backs or defenders, if you like. Oh, swam right across the goal. It's a bit hard to see what's going on. Oh. That looks like Bev. Good phase one by Joshua over there. Bev resets it to Ina. They're looking for a gap in the middle. And there seems to be a stoppage in play. Looks like it might have been a goal. Yeah, looks like a goal. Or not. Okay, so no goal. So it is a white team advantage. I think they might have been a black, uh, stick infringement done by the uh, black team over there. So I think we have... Uh, well... We have Joshua, Zhe Tian as forwards on Team C and uh, we have Willit and Fatin as backs for Team C. Nice move by Willit. But pressured by Zhe Tong really hard down the middle. It was a very nice pass yeah. by Willit to Zhe Tian. Zhe Tian was good, in a good strong position. Unfortunately, it just got taken off him. Mm. Zhe Tong tried to receive the pass right around his hips, tried to bring it up. Willit was there to cover. So you were talking about spread of experience. So on Team C, we have the two more experienced players, the backs. Willit has probably been playing for how many years? Probably since 2010 or 2011, thereabouts. So almost probably close to 10 years 10 of experience. 10 plus years of experience. Fatin, a slightly newer senior. Uh, probably around 2018, if I can remember correctly. No, I have no idea, man. But, yeah. but I think you can tell. Whereas on Team F, Short introduction, we have Zhe Tong, Qian Wei, Ina, Bev. Ina and Bev obviously part of the uh, very famous girls squad from Singapore. Uh, scoring 74 goals, only conceding 4 goals. And that was a goal by Team F. Oh, that's a quick goal by Team F. Yeah. Yep. 
So as I was saying, I think um, the spread of players amongst Team F in terms of ability on average is just higher than uh, all the other teams, I think. Uh, looks like a stoppage. Uh, before that, I would just say that was a very good steal by Zetian, uh, but it looks like there was an encroachment call. So one of the benefit of benefits of going through um, uh, friendly competitions like this is that newer players get a chance to simulate um, a more comp simulate games in a more competitive environment and rules like keeping your hands on the wall uh, on the strike. So I think one of the white players didn't have their hands on the, on the wall at the start and now we have a black advantage. They taken by Beth quickly and passed off Ooh. to Tong. Seems like the Zetian was in a little bit of pain over there. I'm not sure what actually happened, yeah. but uh, I don't think the referee saw that there was any excessive physical contact by Team F, so no foul was called. That yeah, was good. Phase 1 by Zetian as well. Yeah. And we've reached the end of the first half. And now we're into the second half. I think, despite the scoreline being 2 0, I, I mean, it feels pretty even to me. What do you say? What yeah. do you think, John? I think so. It feels like um, Team F, the black team, hit the ground running uh, and they got two quick goals off pretty quickly. And now Team C are starting to get into the game. Oh, you can see that. You can see that with Zetian on the right 45 drive. Ina tried to reach across, but really hard to do so because Zetian had the puck in a strong position. Making sure the park was the body was between Ina and the park. Was that Zetian or Willit? No, Willit did a drive after the, after ah, Zetian okay. offloaded it to him. Yeah. Oh, what do we have here? Okay, looks like there was a foul call. It's a white park right in front of the goal. See Willit driving on the right forty five. Visibility is a bit limited, but mm. I'm thinking that he's looking for options to yeah. chuck it into the middle for them to finish it off. Yeah, I just noticed on the right there, Fatin seems to be pretty far behind. I'm not sure if this is a part of Team C's strategy to have one of the backs uh, remain so far behind. Okay, it looks like Willit did a uh, aggressive drive on the left 45, offloaded it to Joshua, who finished it off strong. So it looks like Team C will now register on the scoreboard with one goal. Ah, it's actually quite a close match. Yeah. Okay, it's a tongue quick on the strike. Again, driving left 45, very aggressive. You see immediately engaging Willit on the defense. Fatin is down on the bottom as well as Willit is down on the bottom. That could cause some problems with them in terms of the recycling though. Yeah, both, both down at the same time means both will come up at the same time. He just mm. feeds it back to the center. Nice attempt at the back pick by Zerdian. That was good positioning. And... So don't very strong. Bev brings it right in front of the goal. And it looks like an, it looks like the team F have responded very quickly. And wow, that was a quick that was a quick goal in response. Yeah. But you know, I mean again, you see team F the backs if the forwards don't really pressure the backs on team F, they're just gonna bring it close to the goal tray and the two strong forwards, Sir Tong and Chen Wei are just gonna uh, pressure team C's back oh, and finish it off. Chen Wei just missed the puck right there. He swam right past it. Beth takes it out into space. Looking for options now. What do you think about that play, John? If I were Ina, I would actually drive m more to the right. More to the right and into the open space to pull out the defenders from the middle. Yeah. I think there was space there. But I think she was probably facing that way already and just Continue to go straight. Oh, oh okay. Breakaway goal. Breakaway goal. Oh, that was a nice counter attack by Willit. With Zetian in support. Very, very nice. So I think... If we go back, we might see that Ina was covering, but Ina was down for a long time, so... Bev might have had some problem with the equipment over there. Hence, there was no cover and Willit managed to break free, yeah. freeing up Zetian for the goal. There was a breakdown in the bank's defense at that point in time. Now with a score of 3 or 2, very close fight. In the lead up to this game, you could actually see um, Team F um, doing a pretty substantial warm up. Um, 
as I've mentioned before, you know, in, in such a short game of seven minute halves, you got to really be well warmed up. You, you have to hit the ground hard. running. You have to hit the ground running. And I think that's what Team F did, uh, managing to get the first two goals really quickly. And it's kind of like put them in a really advantageous position right now. Whereas okay, we see that Team C is putting, putting Team F for some pressure. Button in a strong position, covering it. Nice. Nice to you. Uh, you can see that th that's the result of a good positioning, right? The moment Chen Wei got the punch, he immediately could spin it off his stick, take control, drive it in the right 45. And the visibility is getting worse. I like what I see Zhe Tong doing though. He's staying oh. in the center, waiting for the puck to come out so that he can drive it aggressively towards Team C's goal. And there he is now. So I'm making another drive and go. Team F are playing well. They are all down supporting each other. Looks like Team C had bodies in front of the goal to prevent Zertong from scoring. Well, it looks like a goal. Yeah, so there was a very nice sequence there. Yina swam to the right. Um, they did off to Bev, who chipped it forward to a forward. All the players were down, which is... Yeah. And I think if you see over there, Zhe Tong actually drive it to the goal. Team C managed to stop him. Bev was just behind to support him, and Chen Wei was right beside Bev as well. So and then the three of them just basically drive it, drove it into the goal to finish it off. Yeah. It's very good to see the level of hockey is improving amongst uh, everyone. And that brings us to the end of this game. Wow, so that's quite a fast-paced match, John. Uh, any thoughts? Yeah, uh, lots of things happening, difficult to see. And as uh, you mentioned previously, you know, so many things happening, it's quite difficult for us to actually see and describe what's happening. Because you start describing something, you need 10 seconds to talk about it, but something else has happened in the meantime, and you can't really talk as fast as the game moves. Yeah, but I think that's a hallmark of a good hockey game, right? I mean... After your team makes a play, you straight away reset, and then suddenly there's another play that's happening. So, um, I, 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 well, I think this is a symptom of our new players really developing into the good hockey players that we want them to be. So, quite quite heartening to see uh, the game play out like this. Um, very close match. Unfortunately, um, Team C walked away with a loss, but overall, I, I think a pretty even game. Yeah, pretty even game. And I think it actually came down to, as we mentioned before, uh, Team F hit the ground running first. Team C took a while to get into the game and actually that ultimately probably cost them uh, yeah, with the first two quick goals that they conceded. Looking forward to more hockey games from uh, Sterling Underwater Hockey Club's Spring League.